Well, the Bruin study in Pertubrutnip, uh, uh, the Pertubrutnip study, that's uh, what we call it in Americans, phase one study on steroids. I think we entered uh, nearly a thousand patients there. Uh, however, talking about a mantle cell lymphoma, uh, that's a very interesting perspective. There were a couple of uh, abstracts we presented. And first, uh, the abstract uh, summarizing the long-lasting effects and responses, which, uh, which were very, very uh, appealing. Uh, mind you, uh, out of uh, uh, over 90 patients analyzed, 90% uh, of them were previously treated with BTK, so they were either BTK intolerant or BTK, BTK failures. Talking BTK intolerant, the pertubrutinib is one of the most favorable uh, toxicity issues. The uh, CTCA grade three or higher events are rarity. The drug is very well tolerated, both in terms of hematological toxicity and infections. This should be off notice because uh, the, comp uh, it's, uh, the adverse event rate is uncomparable with other non-covalent uh, uh, third generation beta gain inhibitors, pretty smaller than the known second generation beta gain inhibitors. In this uh, meeting, we also presented uh, the longer data of xanabrutal toxicity based on over 1,500 patients. And again, it's a very well tolerated second generation. But talking about the mantle cell lymphoma, uh, of pertubrutinib, we had a relapsing refractory mantle cell lymphoma refractory to second generation BTK inhibitors. But uh, we had uh, uh, other BTK uh, abstract, BDK inhibitor abstracts in mantle cell lymphoma. First, the BR plus uh, acalabrutinib, both in the first line and relapsing refractory setting, with a very reasonable result, uh, which might be uh, more important at the time where FDA did not prolong uh, the approval of uh, uh, ibrutinib in relapsing refractory mantle cell lymphoma. The other couple of presentations. Uh, which uh, are not ours, but should be noted, are Xanabrutinib with rituximab in the first line. And again, Xanabrutinib seems to have even a higher activity, uh, uh, resulting in over 90% of complete regressions.